Last week, Universal Audio released a lot of cool new plugins for Spark, which is their native uh, plugin bundle. Uh, you don't need the hardware for that anymore. But they weren't done yet, because they have now released the Sound City plugin. Let's take a closer look. All right, Sound City is a pretty famous studio, I think. Uh, and if you have never heard of that name uh, of the studio, chances are big that you have heard the sound of the studio. It's one of the most recognized sounds in pop, rock, punk music. And there's actually a documentary called Sound City, made by Dave Grohl, about the studio and the console. And it's, it's really great. Uh, I highly recommend uh, watching that documentary, if you can find it somewhere. Anyway, Universal Audio released a plugin, uh, Sound City, and uh, this is what it looks like. Yeah, really looks like Sound City. Never been there, but this is probably how Sound City uh, looks like. And um, there's a lot of stuff in here. So um, we've got, I think, microphone simulation. Yeah, remiking, and we can select a lot of different uh, setups, even with different instruments and stuff. And we can then place the microphones like this and like this and like this. So it's overheads, uh, rooms and extra rooms. And then over here, we can open up our mixer where we can have more control over the um, individual signals and, you know, do some, some stuff with it. And what I also figured out is that over here, there are some extra uh, effects in here, including a actual reverb. What this plugin is, because I found it very difficult to place at first. I thought it was just a room simulation plugin or whatever, but it's actually how I would call it. It's, it's a time capsule plugin. So they have captured the sound from Sound City in this plugin. And that's more than just the room. It's the room plus mics plus processing plus whatever they did. So this is really cool. Let's run a snare drum through this. So we are now in drums tight. Overheads C414, good overheads. Uh, although, not always. They are pretty specific actually in my taste. Let's, let's see, let's see. So this is the dry snare. And this is the snare through the overheads. We can change the distance of course. Cool. So we can also change the microphone into a C12 and then it's not an overhead anymore. Then it's a uh, mono center close mic. Let's listen. Actually the processing happens uh, stereo. So then it does, I think, uh, dual mono processing or something. Uh, right now I'm running a mono source through it. We can also change it into a C24, which is omnidirectional. And we can also pick a ribbon. Closer as well. Let's add a kick to it as well. Now we have some kind of vintage, vintage fill. I think actually if we then use the compressor on here on like, I don't know this. There you have it, sound. So not audio, but sound. There's a big difference between those two terms. So we also have rooms, room one, which are over here. Let's listen to those. Let's do kick and snare both, like. Okay. This is really cool if you, um, like what happens a lot of times is that people record their drums in a very small room and then I'm stuck with just the closed mics um, and some overheads and yeah, something that's called a room but it's not really exciting the drums a lot what i usually do is i play it back on a big speaker in sound vision and record it back through two microphones that's a lot of work so this is really uh, really helpful definitely to people that don't have a big room to, to play with like all right u67 you can really hear how it's placing in the, in the room, how the sound um, you know, works in the room. Let's turn this 
down a little bit. Twelve. Oh, just one C12, yeah. Or C24. Cool, and now I can combine that with the overheads, of course. Time alignment issue, but I think we can fix it. I think there's a feature in there about that. And then we also have room two, which is even further away. Oh, and here they are placed behind those uh, those those um, sound panels. Cool. And of course, we we of course have to have the mixer here as well, where we can uh, you know balance everything out. Or you can also you know change the distance as well, what we were just doing with the mouse. But we can also time align everything, which is nice for this type of stuff. So we can make a cool combination of something we think is cool. Maybe go like this. And then, there you have your room sound. Let's add the kick to it. Maybe do a high pass filter, which is also on this mixer. There is so much. Like even, even polarity swapping. Almost an infinite amount of colors that you can make in here. What is surprising to me is uh, if you if you look at this plugin uh, from first sight, you're thinking like, oh, snake oil. Like it's very graphical. It's very skeuomorphic uh, design, but it's actually very simple to use. And there is something with the sound that is just very nice and very pleasing. Uh, EQ. They did a very good job on, on sampling this. And of course, you know, <laughs> Universal Audio ain't idiots. Like, <laughs> they know what they're doing, kinda. Um, um, but as far as I could, could figure out right now, I, I don't have a lot to, to, to pitch about yet. It is actually helping the user experience a little bit, this interface, because it's very clear what I'm actually doing. Like, like it's, it's showing visually like, hey, you're increasing the height of the of the microphones here, it, I think it actually, actually is beneficial to using this plugin better. Y'all done firing the shots? Yeah. But this was not. But this was absolutely not not sponsored. But they do give me pre-release access uh, to the plugin, so that I can make this video on launch date, uh, which is cooler for everybody. What I am doing, however, is I'm using affiliate links in my description every single time that I can. So it is just a general rule that I have on my channel. So there will probably be an affiliate link in the description down below, and it's affiliated through Plugin Boutique. Now I also want to check, like, th th there, there's. Pfft, too much in this plugin and it's uh, very good that there will probably be a demo about this plugin uh, because there's just too much to handle in here let's um yeah it's definitely doing stereo processing on mono mics Which is cool for the uh, grand piano. Is there's a chamber, chamber, chamber? There's a chamber in here. Tell me you're not native English without telling me you're not native English. There we go. Where we can also choose different mics. Good 
creates so much atmosphere. I, th I think that is, that is, I mean, I, I'm saying like this is the plugin that captures Sound City. And I think if you should name what it is actually capturing from Sound City, I would say the atmosphere. The, the feel, I, I, it's difficult, I, I cannot really touch it. Like I can of course technically explain that it is capturing the sound and signal paths and everything. But if you if you listen very closely, it's a plugin filled with different feels, with different atmospheres, with different, uh, some, some very, a lot of niceness. I mean, I hope that it comes across uh, through YouTube. Let me know in the comments what you think. That's, that's what in here. And it's not just that, Universal Audio did do a good job in capturing that because I think with the right engineering you can capture every room but it's also this particular room that just has that cool vibe to it. That's that's what it's showing here and I think this is also why a lot of people have chosen to record in Sound City. Yeah, I can go on and on forever. Um, I actually have uh, a few other sources in here as well, but I think what is a good idea for us all to do is um, to check it out ourselves. Um, if I know Universal Audio correct, there will be a demo. So uh, make sure to check out the demo before purchasing it. Again, the link will be in the description down below. And if you want to see a tutorial about this plugin where I'm completely going to take it apart and put it back together so that you know every single detail about this plugin, uh, let me know. Uh, it's going to be a big one, this one. So uh, yeah, let me know. There are a few Universal Audio tutorials available already. I'm planning to do basically everything, um, but that is going to take time. I'll link the playlist over here, check it out. Some videos are public and some videos will be members only. If you want to become a member, uh, figure out where the members uh, button is, <laughs> somewhere down there. I will also link an interesting video over here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Keep pushing and bye bye.